I'm here at Studio 202 with Stuart Orlando Morgan, lead singer from Blue Magic. We want to welcome Mr. Elegant to Studio 202. Thank you very much. The pleasure is mine. Wonderful. Well, I have some questions for you. And um, one, I wanted to know, when did you first start singing? Well, my mother and father said I used to go around singing when I was three and four years old. I can't remember that too well, but uh, I had got my first gig at eight. And I, uh, which they never gave us credit for, I wrote the song for Slinky. A walk, Slinky? Oh, I wrote yeah. that, yeah, Goodness. and Inchworm. I remember playing with yeah, that. Yeah, you know, and, uh, you know, they gave me a fee for it, and I never, the next thing I know, it was all over the world, but hey, it's all good. Oh, my goodness, that's, that's amazing. You started pretty young. Yeah. Okay. Now, I'm uh, mentioning that, who did you listen to growing up, and do you have anybody that you admire today? Well, who, the question is who I didn't listen to. My mom was very versatile. She just opened the door to everyone, all the great jazz artists, um, even opera. My grandfather took me to operas when I was a little kid, so I listened to everything. This is why I can appreciate all flavors of music. And I love uh, Beyonce, she's good. I love Mary J. Bly. There's a few of them out there today. I love Jill Sky. Yes. Yeah. And I sure miss Phyllis Hyman. Oh, I, I miss her too. But you have some great favorites there. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure a lot of the artists are a fan of your music as well. Um, can you tell me what projects you're currently working on and what can we expect for you in the future, from you in the future? Well, we're working on some covers now to hold people over while we're doing the originals. Because singing covers is easy. You know, they're there already. But writing and arranging originals, it's gonna take some time. So we're trying to get some stuff out so people can have their stocking stuff this by November. Okay, well, we, we can't wait, we're waiting for it. I appreciate it. Um, can you tell me how your style of music has evolved from the past till today? Well, what I do is I listen to everyone from back in the day to today, and I try to incorporate it all in one thing. You see, you, you have to be open-minded. This is music. You have to learn to appreciate the younger generation also. They're hip-hop. You know, some people say, oh, well, that's hip-hop, but it's music, and they have talent. They may not sing what I sing, but it's talent. A rock star don't sing what I sing. He doesn't sing what I sing, but it's talent. Yes. Mm -hmm. well, fans, this is the man you want to listen to. If you want to get into the music business, he's giving you a good piece of advice right here. Absolutely. And mention, what is the best advice that you can give to an up-and-coming artist? The best advice, educate yourself. There's no room to be stuck on stupid. This is business. Show business is 99% business, 1% show. If you don't know the business, you're lost. Thanks. What is the best advice that you could give to an up-and-coming artist? Today. The best advice is to educate yourself on everything. Show business is 99% business, 1% show. If you don't know the business, you're lost. Read. Okay. Know the business fans. Yes. Okay. Now, you have a very smooth style on stage. Can you tell me what it is that you're thinking about when you're performing? Ladies like you. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Ladies like me are thinking about you that, too. Yeah, see, 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 it's like when I look into the audience, yes. the love that I'm getting, that's what motivates me to create. See, on stage, you record a record, you're going by the format. But on stage, you have to feel your audience. Yes. I look at the brother there, I can feel what he's thinking of. I look at you, I can say, yeah, she like what I'm doing. I look at you, yeah. They like what I'm doing. Look at you, uh-huh. They're grooving on it. So then I say, okay, let me try this. It's all trying it right there. All adding on right there. I'll sing a song for you, but I'll always add on something fresh right there. Yes. Because that's what it's all about. I don't like that mechanical stuff. Oh, well, well, I gotta do a show. Let me do what, no. Right then and there. I'm always focusing. It's the audience itself, it's the aura. Well, you've heard it um, from Mr. Elegant his, himself. Okay, so now, like myself, I am such a big fan of your music, and I know that the fans would love to hear you sing a little something. 
Would you please do us the honor and sing for us? I just love this song. This is dedicated to all of you. You look inside my fantasy and make it all come true. Something no one else has ever found a way to do. I count their memories one by one. No! 